Oh, we, don't, we don't do that. We don't, okay. 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 One thing about me, we, we don't do, you know, one thing, this is reality. We don't do fantasy matchups. Okay. One thing about me, I kick the ass for real. <laughs> you know, you know, uh, we know if they was, if they was an A fighter, if, if they was extraordinary, I made them look ordinary. Mm -hmm. You know, when the history books is written, they, go, they ain't gonna say, oh, he was a coward, he was scared, he was born. They're gonna, you know what they gonna say? He was one of the best, if not. He was the smartest. What did it Lonnie fought recently? Uh, unbelievable. Hell of a boxer. Uh, you know, uh, Bottle Jack kind of reminds me of Donald Curry. Donald Curry, even Ishe, he's up there in age, but he's still busting, the, busting his ass, making it happen. He should be fighting for a title again also. Would one day, would it make sense for Badu to fight the winner of Andre and Kovalev one day, the winner of that fight, in due time? Um. Badu, is that good fight? Sorry? The winner of uh, Ward and Kovalev one day, was that, would that make sense? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, well, you know Badu Jack is not good for Dodger. But what we want to see is this. We see Sugar Ray Leonard go up and wait. We see Roberto Duran go up and wait. We see so many legendary fighters go up and wait. But my nephew, favorite fighter, Triple G, has yet to go up and wait. But then you're so crazy, you know what? So then I'll see my nephew after the you know, Kell Brook fight. And I'll talk to him. Yeah, uh, he ain't really what I thought he was. I mean, he's, he cool, he cool. He, see, I told you he got punching power for a stationary target. And then he said, uh, you would've killed him. You would've, you would've stopped him, you would've destroyed him. I said, nephew, you ain't telling me nothing new. <laughs> there got my nephew right there. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, he don't never, he don't think he'll want to be. No, 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 that's not, let me rephrase that. It could be a heavyweight, he's gonna say, Mom, he's gonna come out. No, no, he didn't say that. He, didn't, he, was just a, he was just a fan of watching Triple G fight those just a station, stationary targets. And I told him, and I'm, I'm here to come on record and say this. If Canelo was my fighter, under my banner, I wouldn't let him fight Triple G right now. I'm in box, I, I mean, I'm a promoter, and I see the business side. You, you must build a, a fight, you must build a fight and build a fight. But we don't, we don't mind letting Triple G come up to 168 to fight a tuna about. Well, it's really not going to be a tuna. It's going to be a, a hell of a fight. We got a guy right here, solid box, good chin, hard work, Triple G. I got to come straight right, right. for it. I mean, I want the fans to vote. Vote for this fight to happen, then uh, I'll try to talk with Oscar and see if uh, the Canelo and Triple G fight. Then. You say that, you know, maybe out for the business side, but in the ring, you think Canelo beats Triple G? You think Alvarez gets him? Canelo beats Triple G, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah he beat him. He beat him. He stopped him. He stopped him. Yeah, he stopped him. He stopped him. He don't go to this. What advice do you give him, Floyd? Because everybody's calling him a coward and everything. What well, advice do you give Canelo? I want to tell Canelo this. Live your life. Do what makes you happy, Canelo. <laughs> me as a fighter, Floyd Mayweather, for years they called me a coward. They said I was scared of the many Pacquiao. Pacquiao's a... Hall of Fame, hell of a champion. He said I was a coward, he said I was scared. They say so many different negative things about me. All that do is inspire me to work harder and keep pushing myself. And there's no limit to how far Canelo can go. He has a crazy fan base. But business sense, see I understand business. That's why for his last fight, they had to take that fight to Dallas because they know, they know, they know that, that fight wasn't going to do well, too well in Las Vegas. Um, but I understand the business part. You know? I really understand the business.